It seems to us this process is not as open and transparent as advertised. Your friends at the Machinist Union have taken the liberty of peeking behind the curtain and what we found is troubling. First, these so-called best-in-class, world-class private industry experts are really just former MBTA managers using their insider knowledge and connections for the enrichment of profiteers, certainly not the riding public. Currently employed with TransDev are Donna Scott, as TransDev's Director of Human Resources, formerly the Assistant Director of Employee Relations with the MBTA. Dion Stubbs, as Assistant General Manager at TransDev North America, formerly Deputy Chief Operating Officer with the MBTA. Recently employed with TransDev was Richard Davey, who is a Vice President of Private Public Partnerships, formerly the MBTA General Manager and Transportation Secretary for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Recently employed with MV Transportation is Stephen Epps, who was a general manager at MV Transportation, formerly a senior manager in bus ops with the MBTA. We think it's safe to say that if former MBTA managers were industry experts, the FMCB wouldn't exist, and we certainly wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? Second, it's easy for a snake oil salesman like Mark Ash to appear before you and deliver a slick presentation. But what are the actual results? What we have found is a clear and disturbing pattern of poor service, questionable business practices, and serious labor issues. No need to look very far for examples. Simply examine the experience with TransDev right here in Massachusetts. Their track record with the Boston School Buses and the MBTA commuter rail under the MBCR umbrella provide a clear cautionary tale, unless one is blinded by ideology. MV Transportation has admitted in court documents that it's underbid a contract to operate the Durham, North Carolina bus system by $46 million. Separate reports by The Hill and Washington Post showed that MV Transportation had, quote, overstated on-time performance and undercounted the number of times riders were left stranded during its first several months of service. Simply stated, a company whose main objective is to provide maximum profits is not inherently an expert in anything, including, apparently, making a profit. The choice is not just between bus maintenance as it currently exists or bringing in a private contractor. It is the members of Local Lodge 264 that have more knowledge and experience in bus maintenance than anyone else at the MBTA and who can be counted on in an effort to improve productivity, cut costs, and continue to make the MBTA bus maintenance operation the best in the country. Machinist Local 264 members at the MBTA deserve to be part, seen as part of the solution rather than a cost to be cut. You don't have a bus maintenance problem. You just want it to cost less. The Machinist Union is and always has been here to help you with that. We are asking the Fiscal Management and Control Board to be responsible stewards of this most vital public service. Thank you.